just arrived at Tomoka State Park in Florida. Let's go check it out. We're at the Tomoka State Park Campground. It's a uh, solid sand dirt road. This is a typical campsite. Actually, my fifth wheel would fit, fit in this site. This is uh, campsite number nine. Looks like we have a water spigot. It does have threads on it. It works. We have a 30 amp and 110 power outlets. Very scenic campground. Lush. You got a uh, fire pit and picnic table. But yeah, uh, a large rig will fit back in here. And you do have electricity, it's 30 amp. And this particular campsite, campsite number nine, is uh, kind of catty corner from the restrooms. You can see the restrooms top of the building over there. We'll go over and take a look at that in a minute. There's another campsite the folks just pulled out. Campsite number 10. You can also get a big rig back in there. In the adjacent campsite number 10, is campsite number 91. You have a large Concrete pad, picnic table and fire ring, and then walking path to the restroom and shower house. I was in there earlier, they're clean, they have uh, flush toilets. You also know, have water, 30 amp power. Site 91, and it's an in-out site. This campground makes a loop. This is the other end of the loop. And, uh, oh, there's Melody and Milo. So I'm almost assured this would be a handicap site having the paved walkway to the uh, restroom. But uh, Site 91, yeah, going down in the book. That's a keeper. Since we're at campsite 91 and I wanted to show you the restroom, we'll just uh, take that path direct from site 91 to the restroom. Shower house. Oh, looks like you had a washer and dryer huh, on the corner there. Like the dryer is two dollars, takes quarters. And the uh, washer is two dollars, takes quarters. I'm not gonna take you in there, but there's the women's restroom. And there's the men's restroom. And there's a shower house in there too. And it looks like we have, and this one does have a handicap site marking on it. So there's another site over here. <clears throat> it's got electric and water. Site 13 
has a concrete pad. It's not as large as like 90, whatever it was. That's site 13. Also a concrete pad. If you have a smaller rig, you can get on that pad. Site number 13. Let's take a walk around the loop here. See what else we have. There's site 12. My fifth wheel probably fit in there. And park the truck off to the side. Site number 12. They're nice, uh, nice lush campground. There's site 15. It's got a little slope to it. I'm only going to show you the, the good sites. Uh, that's a flat site. It's nice and long. You can get a big rig in there. You have water and uh, electric. Uh, that's site 16. Tomoka State Park, Florida. This is site 19. Looks like it's got a new picnic table, water and electric. Um, you can see how secluded these sites are. You have lots of uh, privacy. You can also get a big rig back in that site, site number 19. This is site 21. Very large, deep site. Very scenic. Also get a big rig back in that site. Any size rig will fit in that site. Site number 21. Here's a second shower house restroom facility in the Tomoka State Park campground. We're continuing our walk around the loop. Continuing to walk in this direction, but we found another nice looking site. This is site number 34. That site will accommodate any size rig. Be pretty easy to back in that site. It's got water and electric, new picnic table. Um, some sweet looking sites here in this campground. Site number 35, another nice looking site. Looks like you have a new electric box back here. Let's check this out and see what kind of electric we got. Say 35. 50 amp. Bing, bing, bing. They do have 50 amp. You can get your rig level in there. There's just a slight slope. But uh, one thing nice about this site is uh, this is. Uh, this road straight ahead is uh, an intersecting loop. It'll kind of, it's a shortcut to the other side of the campground loop. So you could just pull up through this uh, connector road and then back your rig straight in to site number 35. So, yeah, 35. That one is a keeper. Going down the book. Let's continue to walk up the road this way. See what else we got. Continuing on up around the loop, I pass many sites that look like this. Uh, they're for shorter rigs. If you have a pop-up camper, maybe a small airstream, um, you can uh, small travel trailer. You can get your camping configuration in there. But there's dozens of these sites as you walk down the campground. I passed three different shower houses. So we will continue walking the campground loop. I come across a sweet site, I'll let you know. There's my buddy. You see any 
Sweet sights down this way? There are some? Okay, let's go check them out. Here's a nice looking site, site number 74. It's concrete. And it is located right across from the shower house. And uh, it has a paved walkway to the shower house. And it's got one of those big boxes, and I would say that's a 50 amp connection. Site 74 going down in the book. Looks like you have 50 amp in the water and hookups. Also, right across from the shower house, you have Site 75. And it looks like it has 50 amp. There's no one in it, so let's go back and take a look. your water hookup. There's another 50 amp, 30 amp site. That gives you a perspective from the rear of the site, site number 75. That is a keeper going down in the book. Here's a final look at site 75. Definitely a keeper. Okay, we're back at the truck. Just parked the truck around the corner here. We're going to leave the campground and take you over to several other um, locations within the Tomoka State Park. Really scenic state park. Thought we'd come over to the water here. We're still in the campground. Uh, the crabs are just scurrying. You can see the crabs on the ground here. had a boat launch area with a gift shop and you can rent boats and take tours and so we're gonna check that out um, there's some history here I believe it has to do with uh, Indian settlements that used to be on this land so uh, we're gonna take you on a tour of the rest of the campground let's check it out they do have a dump station here at Tomoka State Park. It's on your way out. There you go. We're at the Tomoka Outpost where they have a boat launch and a uh, boat rental. Pretty back in here. This is the, that's the gift shop outpost store dead ahead there. kayaks over there. I would think that boat may be the tour that goes out. I'll we'll have to talk to them inside the store and see what the deal is with the boat tours. Store rentals, boat tours, snacks, and beverages.
definitely is scenic. Just down from the trading post is an Indian village. They have a statue, I believe, of the chief, the Indian chief. It's all, kind of like on a little peninsula. There are restroom facilities and picnic area here. Very scenic. Let's go check it out. The live oak trees and the Spanish moss are all over this area, especially within the Tomoka State Park. Chief Tomoki. Slain by Alida in defense of the Golden Cup. Chief Tomoki. Let's go take a look around the, uh, the statue. Go ahead, huh? Melody found something right behind where uh, Chief Tomoki statue statue is. You can walk out here and see what she found. Ah, this place is lush. Appears to be a, a peninsula. There's water over here to my right. And uh, there's water straight ahead. We have a sitting bench. Ah, it is a peninsula. Tomoka Point. See why they have the kayak and canoe rental. Okay, let's go check out and see what else is here. He's checking the chief out. Okay.
think we're going to leave it here. Tomoka State Park in Florida. I'm going to have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.